So one of these buttons here. There you go. Backlog, 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 backlog! backlog! We can't hear it. Yeah. But we, we nailed it though, everybody. I don't know why we can't hear it. Hi guys. Hey. Welcome to the backlog. This is a show where... Uh, <laughs> This is a segment of the show where we go through our entire video game collection. Every game we've ever bought, we put into an Excel spreadsheet. And today we're going to pick one at random and talk about it, regardless of whether or not we've played it. Oh, How many games do we have on that 972. list? 972. Got a lot of games we've got yeah. to add to that list. 336. 336. And that is the Mega Man X Legacy Collection for the Switch. Interesting. Yes. We just did... We did the Mega Man Anniversary Collection for the PlayStation 2. And that was the regular Mega Man. Regular Mega Regular Mans. old Mega that, Man. And that was Mega Man 1 through 8, so it wasn't even like the whole series. Okay. The Mega Man X Legacy Collection is... What is it? Legacy is Mega Man X 1 through... I think that's Mega Man uh There's X, two of them. There's, yes. There's Leg Mega Man X Legacy Collection 1 and 2. And that covers like, what, 8 games combined? Combined, it's 8. Yeah. I think this is only 1 through... Four. Four? Okay. Did you not get both of them? I just assumed... I, got, I definitely got this one. Okay. Because I played this one. Okay. I only played through X and a little bit of two. Um, That's the thing with, like, the, the current round of, like, Mega Man collection... Mega Man Legacy collections that Capcom has been doing. Because they're doing them for all the Mega Man series. But they released them in two parts. Like, part one and part two. Yeah. But, like... People just wind up buying both of them. <laughs> yeah, well, that's why they do yeah. that, because they want you to, to to get both of them. Yeah. Uh, this game was cool. I think it had filters. Am I wrong? Did it have, uh, uh, like, like CRT filters? I believe so. There weren't a lot of retro games on the Switch at the time when this was yes. uh, coming out. This yes. Came... This is one through four. Yes. Uh, this came out in 2018. Yeah. So uh, I don't think there were any Switch Online. No, I think that was then. before Switch Online. Yeah. So this was uh, there were a couple of yes. Here are the filters. Yeah. And they were pretty decent. Yeah. Uh, so at the time, this was like a really big deal when this came out because it was retro games on the Switch, and we yeah. didn't have those. Yeah. Uh, and this collection did a pretty decent job of uh, having the the pixels be scaled perfectly, yeah. having filter options, even though they were pretty minimal. Uh, it was still better than what other companies were doing. Yes. Uh, in terms of the games, uh, these are definitely some of the best Mega Man games, period. <laughs> Mega Man X is the best Mega Man game, right. period. Yes. It's the one that I tell everybody to just jump in and play. Yeah. So uh, I really like Mega Man. Comparatively, I haven't played a lot of Mega Man games. Yeah. Uh, Mega Man X, though, is incredible. Uh... And in this, it's just Mega Man X. I don't know what what else we're we're, we're saying. I, mean, I played this game yeah, on a million like, different platforms. Yeah, and I, I feel like we have Mega Man X on Super Nintendo. So if we ever get to that, then like, what are we gonna say about that one game? Well, yeah. all right. So you played a little bit of X two, correct? How does that compare to X one? Or can you not really speak to that? Um, it's pretty much the exact same. It's it's uh, the, it, back on. It kind of uses all of the same assets and stuff yeah. for like Mega Man and whatever. Yeah. Uh, so there's like new robot masters and stuff. Uh, there's right. some new abilities, I think, but okay. for the most part, it feels like just an extension. It's like the Sonic and Knuckles to Sonic 3. Got it. Uh, it's just an extension of Mega Man X1, which is fine because Mega Man right. X1 is awesome. So Mega Man X2 is also awesome. Right. Uh, I played more of it on my Me You. Any, uh, but I still haven't beaten it. I'm okay. like towards the end, but I still never, never got through the whole thing. Uh, there are different, like, what do you call it? Like, like orders. orders, like yeah. what we see here. Uh, I think I just turned them completely yeah, off. Yeah, always turn them off. They're always yeah. ugly. They always distract. Just, Especially now with OLED TVs. Yeah, just switch use, OLED. You can have problems. Yeah, just use the standard uh, black bar pillar yeah. box and you'll be fine. I think this game also has save states. It does. Uh, yeah. Both volumes allow you to play in either the English or Japanese releases, can contain several screen sizes and filtering options. A save feature was added for X1, uh, X2, and X3, although the password system is also retained. An easier Rookie Hunter difficulty has been added to all games, which has damage received. 
In games from X4 onward, Rookie Hunter also makes spikes less damaging and makes bottomless pits non-lethal. However, playing on Rookie Hunter difficulty locks the player out of earning some in-game achievements. A new gameplay mode, X Challenge, allows the player to fight two Mavericks from X through X6 at once uh, with some of these battles exclusive to a single version. The collection also features an extensive multimedia gallery including original trailers, merchandise images, uh, concept art for all eight games, and the Day of Sigma animated short from Mega Man Maverick Hunter X. Yes. Uh, and that is a very cool animation. Yeah. Um, save states are important. Uh, Especially in a game like this. Yeah, so uh, it, the game's not that forgiving. Yeah. Uh, there is a save function in the original game. It is just a password. Yeah. So it's kind of a pain in the ass. So save states are, even if you want to have the original experience of, of playing the game, if you don't want to play it on easy mode, which is sometimes what save states are, uh -huh. uh, being able to just hit the save state button when the password screen comes up is great because yeah. I'm not inputting a password every time I want to play yeah, a stupid no. game. Uh, it's it's freaking 2024. Um, Yeah. So... This game's great. Uh, I think X4 might be some people's favorite Mega Man game. I oh, have not gotten there yet. A lot uh, of... I We have X4 on PlayStation. I, yeah. Yeah. People say skip X3 because uh, X3, I think, is made by a different uh, team or something. I know that X3 is a weird one in the series because it's like got a very specific chip that like is hard to emulate on like modern like hardware and stuff. It was like very specific to the super Nintendo. Not every game had that. Um, and according to this, um, this collection uses specifically the super Nintendo version of X3, not the PlayStation version that was like Japan exclusive. Oh, for a while. yeah. So I wonder what the difference is. I don't know if there's much of a difference. Um, I mean, there must be You're going from uh, a yeah. uh, chip to a disc. Yes. Yeah. X4 was the first fully playable Zero game. Yes, you can play a Zero in that one. Everyone yeah. loves Zero. Yes. And I hear X4 has a great story. Everybody loves X4. So yeah. uh, you're getting, again, some of the best Mega yeah. Man games here because I think X1 is the best mm -hmm. because I've never played X4. And everybody who's played every Mega Man game says that X4 is the best. Right. So you're getting both of those games in this collection. Yeah. Game one through four. Uh, the PlayStation version uh, adds additional animated full motion video cutscenes, rearranged remix music tracks, and completely different sound effects from the original SNES version. Do I have X2 Legacy Collection on the list or no? It just says the Mega Man Legacy Collection. X Legacy. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think, I think I might not have gotten the second one. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, we have some of those games because those were the PlayStation yeah. 2 games yeah so mm -hmm. I kind of liked uh, Mega Man 7 and 8 in a weird way Mega Man yeah. X 7 and 8 in yeah. like a weird charming way they were not great games no. uh, there were other games that uh, deserve to be higher on the list of, mm -hmm. of great Mega Man X games but I remember we played uh, I think it was 8 I played it at Jake's house Yes. Um, and I really liked it I, yeah, I was, it was enjoying tough it. Tough as nails. But yeah. I was enjoying it in like a Sonic Adventure type of way. Yeah. Like I just like these characters and I think it's kind of cool and quirky to see it in 3D yeah. and all of the stuff that they're trying to do. Well, I wouldn't necessarily call it a great game. And X8 was a, a side scroller cuz X7 they tried experimenting with full 3D. Yeah, I think 8 they also did that. Like they had some stuff right, but, but it, it wasn't uh yeah. the, X7 did a lot more of it. They did yeah. a lot more full 3D stuff that was weird and people didn't like. Yeah. I would love to see a full 3D Mega Man game. Uh, oh, absolutely. But you got to make it really good. You can't mm -hmm. you can't yeah, fucking I, yeah. do what you did in Mega Man X7. So I would say the Mega Man X Legacy Collection is awesome. I yeah. would say definitely give it a try. You have to play Mega Man X uh if you have not played Mega Man X. Yeah. Uh and then work your way up to four because people say four is the best one. Yeah. So I would say that this is probably the best Mega Man legacy collection there is. It might be the best like it might be the best collection of retro games on the Switch period. Ooh. What else is there? Castlevania. Castlevania. Um the Cowabunga collection. The Switch Online stuff. 
in general. I'm excluding the Switch Online okay. stuff because okay. this was, first of all, before the Switch Online right. stuff. And also, uh, you have to pay for this separately because yeah. it's Capcom. It's a, it's a different service. You got like the Disney collection. Disney That's collection, the Genesis collection. There is the Genesis collection. The Genesis collection is pretty good. Yeah. This is kind of neck and neck with the Genesis right. collection. The Genesis collection is great. Uh, this is some of the best games yeah. of all time. The Genesis collection has some of the best games of all time. This might have bigger deals, I would say. Right. Uh, so... This is definitely uh, something everybody should. Watch. Yeah. Uh, and that's it. Thanks for watching the All backlog, right. everybody. You should check out Mega Man X Legacy Collection. Come to a podcast sometime. Podcast people, stay. Yeah. Everyone else, bye. Bye.